Good morning. How are you this morning? I know it's early for me. It's super early. I have a celebration of life today and it's sort of out of town, so I have a little bit of a drive. Hi, I'm Peggy and welcome to my page. I'm your Saint 3D makeup gal where we use one palette and one brush to create that one layer of makeup for mature skin. I'm 67 years old, so let's get started. My face is cleansed for the morning and it is moisturized eyes that's how we begin then we pick up our palette which has everything we need to do one layer of makeup and the entire face I'm going to start with my contour shade which is the scary dark shade and what I'm going to do is use my finger to place it Saint is a cream makeup that's one of the things that makes it so different and so exciting it's very pig pigmented so it's wonderful for your skin the coverage is good. You can get a light, a full, or a medium coverage. I like to go with the medium. The other thing that's so beautiful with Saint is that it doesn't, since it's cream, excuse me, got a hair there. <laughs> It doesn't settle into the fine lines and wrinkles. So what we're going to do is put the contour on the hard parts of the face because we're going to use it to define our faces. Contour gives your face depth and definition. So it goes on the forehead. It goes on the cheekbone. And again, it's a dark, a cooler shade. And what we're doing is creating shadows to make us look our very best. We're not really changing a lot. We're just accentuating things that we want to to look better, like give more of a, of a chiseled jaw. Now I do have jowls, so what I'm gonna do is start at that jowl and go right up towards the ear. Now, I since I have jowls, I have these two lovely divots here, so I'm going to just Put those together under my neck, connect them to where it creates another shadow and it hides the turkey neck that I have. If you have a double chin in lieu of a turkey neck, you would just start back like almost to the ear and come further down and up. That will create a shadow which will make your double chin look just a little bit better and not quite as noticeable. Now we're going to come down the center of the nose on either side, but more on the top to make the nose look that much more elongated and a little bit narrower. Now, normally I don't do this on camera, but I am today. We're going to do the whole thing today, even the eyes. I like to grab the line brush tap it into the contour and just fill in these eyebrows. There we go. Everything, literally everything you need to do a full face is in this palette. Your, this is your makeup bag. You are not running around looking for this shade, that shade. It's all right here. Now that we have our contour placed, we're going to move on to the next shade, which is a concealer shade or a brightening shade. It's going to be the lightest shade in your palette. So you're probably thinking she put a dark shade on that doesn't match her face. Yes, I did. Now we're going to a light shade, which is much too light for her. Yes. Hang with me. Can the, the brightening shade or brightening highlight goes in the center of the forehead on the soft spots of your face and down the center of the nose. We call it a brightener. So what we're doing is we are brightening to give the, the illusion of a longer and narrower nose. We're going to brighten the cupid's bow, also the center of the chin, now we're going to come to the eyes. This is where kind of the concealer comes into play. We're only going to catch the inner corner of the eye, and we're going to catch the outer corner of the eye. And we're not putting any underneath. I have crepe skin underneath my eyes, and I have wrinkles above my eyes, on my eyelids. So we're not going to do anything to put makeup right there because we don't want to accentuate that, uh, those wrinkles. But when we blend, you're gonna see that it's just gonna smooth across, put just the least little bit of product, 
and you're gonna be amazed at the difference. Now we're gonna to move to my main shade. This is a highlight, and it is closest to the color of my natural skin. So it's like a filler shade. We're just going to put some color right where we want it to be, where we need it, and where there's no other makeup. Strategically placing this and putting the colors where we want them to be. And then when we blend, we're not going to blend this all together and make a muddy mess. We're going to tap it so each shade stays in the area that it needs to stay. This is a new premise for all of us. It's scary, but it's so wonderful and so doable, especially if you have mature skin like I do. Thank you all for being here. It is so early, and I really appreciate you talking to me while I get ready. There we go. Our, our foundation is now placed. We just need to blend it. So it's as if we shook up these three shades together and put it all over our face. Only that's not what we did because we need to strategically do it. Now I'm going to move to the third shade. This is one of my absolute favorite shades. It's beautiful for fall. It's beautiful for any time, but really pretty. There we go. I'm sorry my internet's not awake this morning yet it keeps going in and out but it's a beautiful shade for fall it was a limited edition i hope they bring it back but it's called red rosewood and if rosewood comes back definitely grab you some it is just wonderful it is a lip and it's a cheek so it's your blush as well as your lipstick Look how pretty that is. Now I look totally ridiculous, and it's like, okay, what you going to do with that? Keep watching. I'm going to pick up my 3D brush. It has a domed in, and it has a fluffy in. I love this brush. You can do everything you need to do with your blending with this brush. So cream makeup needs to be set. I'm going to be in the heat and humidity today, so I am going to use NYX matte spreading mist um setting mist because you do need to set your cream makeup you can do it with a setting spray or a setting mist or you can use a setting powder so let me find where the nozzle is so i don't spray my face and i'm just going to give my brush a little few squirts tap it in and let's start blending i like to start at the jawline and come around there we go now drag it down your neck. Just little swirls. We don't want to blend the color out. We want the color to stay to create the shadow. Again, that's the whole premise of this makeup is blending where it needs to be and, and leaving it there. And each shade is going to be what gives your face the 3D look because let's face it, our faces aren't flat. So now we're just going to come and we're just going to stipple, which is gently tapping this makeup exactly where we want it to be and where we want it to stay. There we go. We're marrying the edges together. Notice I'm not swirling and getting it all together and all over my face. We're strictly, strategically blending as well as the placement. There we go. Now I'm going to flip my brush around so I get really good into the corners of my eyes without pulling this product or pulling my eyes, uh, the skin under my eyes. Everyone knows that is of a, a certain age. Again, I'm 67. You don't want to pull the, the skin that is around the tenderness of the eyes. Now, notice too with the contour on my nose, I went very gently like one tap just to blend it, but to leave the brightness in the middle, the darkness on the side. Okay, let's grab up here. And we're going to blend in the brightening shade. And now we're going to swirl the contour. Go all the way up into your hairline. All the way. You don't want there to be a light line up there. Go all the way up. There we go. Can you tell a difference yet? It's getting better. I know <laughs> it's getting better. Now we're going to come to the, the, the cheek. 
and we're going to stipple up and down, which is gently tapping on the contour shade, and then work the contour and the blush or lip and cheek up into the temple. There we go. Okay, same thing on this side. Gently tapping and then grabbing and working it up. You always want to blend up except on the neck. The neck you blend down, but everywhere else, always, always blend up. There we go. I, sorry, my internet, like I say, is jumping in and out. So now I have my full foundation on. I don't have it settling into any lines and wrinkles. And I am good to go if this was all I was going to do. But... Since I need to get ready this morning to, like I say, I want to go that little extra mile, we're going to do some eyeshadow. So what I'm going to do is grab my eyeshadow brush, tap into Vanilla Dust Setting Powder, and I'm just going to go over my eyelid to give it a little, to even out the skin tone up there, because it is kind of purpley since I am an allergy child and to give it something to grab onto. Setting powder is wonderful to prep your eyelids with. Now I do have crepe skin up there and I do have the hooded eyes. You can see all of this stuff going on. So we're going to use Trust, which is like a little bit of a gray, and we're gonna use Sabrina today as, as my brightener. I like to start with the dark color first and work to the lighter color. Now, I'm going to take the small end of my eyeshadow brush, tap it into Trust, and I'm going to kind of put that hood up, and then I'm going to draw a line from the outer corner down. Pick up a little more product, and there we go. I need to look a little bit over here in the mirror. There we go. Now, we're going to relax the eye. Okay, let your hood fall and then work it over to be sure it's this color is in the crease and it's also above the eye on the hood. You want to put some on the hood because you want to be able to see it when your eye is open. Look at the difference. There we go. Now we're just going to flip this brush around and we're going to blend and just drag it over just a little bit. There we go. All right, this lipstick feels so good. This lip and cheek feels good this morning. Okay, we're gonna come back and build on this right in the corner just by tapping, and then just drag it over just a little bit. Now, by, by drawing the line, see how we get a crisper border to work with? There we go. All right. How's everyone doing this morning? In Southeast Louisiana, it's really early. <laughs> All right. We're going to do the outer corner of the other eye by drawing the line straight up with our darker shade. Again, today we are using Trust. There we go, since I'm all in black. And now let's just blend it over. Let the hood drop. There we go. So that we're sure that it's going to show when the eye is open. We're going to, there you go. We're just gonna go above and onto that hood. All right, now I don't like to drag the darker shade over too terribly far because you don't want to get it too dark to the center. I go about halfway, maybe a little bit. Oh, uh, my internet, I apologize, guys. Okay, I live way out of the sticks and there isn't a good internet service out here and it shouldn't be this bad this early, but it is for some reason. Okay, there we go. We're just going to blend. See how I didn't come all the way with the darker color? You want to keep it like maybe three quarters the way over. All right, I think we're good there. Now I'm gonna just take my finger into Sabrina. Sabrina is a beautiful shade. It's real neutral. And I'm going to come up 
to where that skin falls for the hood. And I'm just going to place it up there as well as on about a quarter of the way over on the hood. I'm sorry, the eyelid. And then up into where the hood, hood falls when my eyes are relaxed. There we go. And then come back and give it a little bit of a blend. There we go. Now. All right, last thing is let your eyes relax, look straight forward, and just maybe make sure they're kind of even. Uh, do, do I get them totally even both times? No, <laughs> not every time. And I see I need a little bit more over here on the hood. A little bit right here. I didn't come up quite far enough for that hood. There we go. And then just give it a blend. Now, I like to use a little bit of an illuminator up there just to give it a little bit of shine. So I'm going to grab this shade called Georgia. I love Georgia. She is such a pretty shade. She is a powder, so she gives a little more of a shimmer. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Georgia Illuminator. There we go. A little, just a tad on the bridge of the nose, just to catch a little bit of the light. A little bit high on the cheek, but not into the crow's feet. Be careful not to get it into your crow's feet. Okay. And then right on the lip of the Cupid's bow. There we go. Okay, I'm done. What do you think? How do you get started with Saint? Because you too can have the transformation that I just had. It's still me, but it's, but it's better. It's just a little bit more enhanced. And that's what Saint does. It brings out the beauty that you already have, but makes it just a little bit better. We start with a color match. I'll put in the copy up or down here, wherever it is. I think this is Instagram, so it'll be at the bottom. A number that you'll send hashtag match to. You send me a makeup free selfie. What I want you to do is go to your window, open your blinds, pull up your shades, and let the natural light in. Not sunlight, natural light. And I want you to have no makeup on. You're in, give me some of your neck and your decollete if you can. Look directly into your phone and take a selfie. Attach it, upload it to that link, and you're good to go. I'll get back to you with the shades that I feel would be the perfect shades for you and enhance your beauty. The lip and cheek is your choice. You start with a four palette. There are larger palettes that, that you, can, uh, you can order as you build your collection. Again, no obligation. The color match is free. You're under no obligation to buy. Now, if you do buy, I know you're going to love it. But if for some reason you don't, Saint has a 30-day money-back guarantee. So what do you have to lose? You could possibly be looking your best with this cream makeup. I thank you for joining me this morning. It's super, super early. And you have a great day, but you be the reason someone smiles today. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time. Bye.